I'm in southern Argentina, in the heart of Patagonia, and behind me is Perito Moreno. It's one of the few glaciers in the world that's not retreating. We've just travelled by boat across the Rico arm of Lake Argentina, from where we hiked to the edge of the glacier. This is the big ice track, no small affair. It's a half day trip walking with ice crampons on the surface of the glacier itself. <laughs> Tour operators charge $150 a head and only welcome those aged between 18 and 45. They also stress you need to be fit. It's seven hours of hard walking across a diverse terrain around dangerous crevasses and through natural tunnels, upon ice which varies in color from deep violet to crystal clear. But there's a relaxing lunch beside an ice lake where mountain guides explain why Perito Moreno is so special. While most of the world's glaciers are shrinking, often by many kilometers, this glacier has maintained its size. It's a strange phenomenon, one which scientists can't explain. I think uh, climate change is something we have to be uh, worried about. But in fact, the Petit de Moreno uh, isn't worried about it, I guess, because this is one of the few glaciers that is not uh, uh, reducing uh, uh, yet. So. Um, in, in, this, um, in this case, climate change is not an issue, but I think uh, globally it, it's really an issue. Climate change is certainly a concern for anyone involved in the tourism industry here. Perito Moreno has become one of Argentina's key tourist attractions, but locals are also aware of how tourism itself might be damaging the natural environment. <laughs> The activities, the economical activities, and the tourism is an economical activity. We need to, to do something to protect the areas, but uh, we need to, to work, we need to eat, we need to live, to live. And uh, if we protect the area, we are good, I think. We need to develop the cities out of the park, out of this uh, uh, beauty. Most visitors make their base at El Calafate, a frontier town some 80 kilometers from the glacier. Until recently, the town was a market hub for sheep farmers from the surrounding Patagonian steppe. But the economy has been shifting towards tourism. Now the town is home to dozens of adventure companies, souvenir shops, restaurants and hotels, even one owned by Argentina's first couple, President Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner and her husband Nestor Kirchner, a former president. We had tourism, but only during the summer season, from October to March, April, more than that. But since we have the airport here, we are receiving people all year round. the easiest glacier to reach in uh, Patagonia. You don't need to go to trekking for weeks or climb a mountain or you don't need an helicopter to reach. Just traveling by, in fact, your own car or arranging a tour, you can get glacier front very easy. So thousand, thousand people per day are visiting this one. Come while you can. Scientists have already noted significant changes in the behavior of ice here in the southern ice cap. The UN's environment program says glaciers are melting at unprecedented rates. Yet throughout this, Perito Moreno remains a symbol of resistance. <laughs>